Hello, this is Monica Jones from Us Love We, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my November favorites. Yes, I can't believe it's already November. Like, I have no idea what happened to November. Like, it's been kind of a whirlwind, so much so that I haven't really been like indulging in a lot of things. So, like, this favorites video is gonna be pretty short and sweet and to the point because. I haven't had time to really do a whole lot of anything, so let's jump right in. All right, starting with my favorite beauty favorites. Okay, so, um, I know, I know, I know. This is so cliche, but the product actually works really well, and that is the Glossier um, Milky Jelly Cleanser. It's a conditioning face wash, and I absolutely love this product. I was gonna put this in my October favorites, but I hadn't tried it for that long to call it a favorite. But now that I've now bought my second bottle of this, I definitely think I can call it my favorite now. And here's the reason why I love this product. I like it because, one, it's a jelly formula, which for some reason, like, I like that consistency better than, like, a cream. Secondly, it actually, like, removes all the dirt, all the makeup out of your skin while still leaving your skin really moisturized once it's cleansed off your face. So I absolutely love that. It's really light. It has really no fragrance to it. Um, and it just gets the job done. So I use that morning and night and absolutely love it. So um, that is for my face. Um, another thing I've been loving for my skin is also... Um, the Thayer's Witch Hazel, and this is in the Rose Petal Scent. Now, this is a product I've had for a really long time, but I've never tried the Rose Petal Scent. I've always had the um, the fragrance-free kind, but for some reason, this scent, it's super subtle. Like, you, it's not gonna be overpowering or really, like, obnoxious or anything like that. Super subtle. It's just really nice and refreshing, and I love Witch Hazel for um, toner, so after I wash my face, I just, do a couple dabs of this in my hand and literally just kind of pat it into my skin so that it soaks into my skin and this just helps like balance out the pH in my um, my skin and keeps it nice and fresh in tone so if you guys have not tried witch hazel as a toner I highly highly suggest it it's a natural pH balancer um, and it just really helps like moisturize your skin too on top of like your normal moisturizer so been really loving this uh, let's see, moving on to hair. Um, there's two products that I've been loving for my hair that I recently got. One is um, Kristen East, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. She came out with a new product line uh, exclusively at Target, I believe it's exclusively, I'm not have a sure. Um, but she's got a ton of different hair products. And I was walking down the aisle and I seen this cleansing conditioner. Now, Shea Moisture and a lot of other um, African American hair products carry like a co-wash, which is basically like a conditioner um, cleanser instead of using a shampoo, which a lot of times naturally just strips a lot of your oils out of your hair. Um, but if you use like a, a cleansing conditioner, you still cleanse your hair, um, but you're still keeping a lot of the, the good oils in your hair. So when I saw this product, I was like, oh, I wonder how this is going to work. Like, is it going to... Um, do the same thing as some of my, my other products I've been using for a co-wash and let me tell you it works really well But what I love, love, love about it is it smells so good It's also if you don't like um, Shampoos or conditioners that are really um, Perfumey this is not going to be for you because it is very perfumey But I love that because I love when my hair smells good and this smells so good I also got the mask and I wasn't like super impressed with it. I didn't feel like it left my skin, or not my skin, left my hair really like moisturized and silky and smooth. So like that one, I mean, I'll use it, but it wasn't my favorite, but this right here, absolutely love that. So that's all I've been loving for beauty. Um, all right, so moving on to entertainment. Now, here's what I was talking about when I said I haven't been indulging in a lot of things. And in the entertainment sector of my life, that is definitely a space I have not been indulging in. Um, in my last week's video, I talked about my hunter, so I finished wrapping that up. Um, I'm still listening to the same podcast, still listening to the same audiobook, so like nothing really new. But 
there's some new music that I've been loving slash kind of revisiting. And so one of the artists that I've absolutely been loving, it's Sabrina Claudio. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, she just dropped a new album. Let me just pull it up here really quick because I did forget um, what her album was called. One second. It's called About Time and it is such a beautiful album. Like if you're listening or if you're looking for something that's really um, sultry, romantic to kind of get you in the mood or just some nice background music like her voice is so beautiful and my favorite songs from this album is belong to you unravel and frozen those three songs are absolutely breathtaking her voice is so amazing so um you have to check her out it's sabrina claudio and the album is about time the other album that I have been listening to on heavy rotation is Ari Linux Bow. Like, it is such a good album, and I really wish she would have gotten the acknowledgement that I think she personally deserves. Um, she's got such a beautiful, soulful voice. Like, it's kind of a mix of Erica Badu and Lauren Hill, and it's just so soulful, but it's youthful, and it's modern, and she's just got some really good songs, and that's one of those albums that you literally can play from start to finish and, like, not skip a track because it's just, it's amazing. It's, it reminds me of an album that you listen to on Sunday morning while you're doing the laundry or you're cleaning the house and you just want to have, like, some good background music. Check her out. Ari Lennox, absolutely love her. All right, so lastly, I'm going to share with you guys my wild card, which is, oh my God, you guys. I just get so excited whenever I talk about food because it's such a passion of mine and food makes me genuinely happy. I'm one of those people that get really excited when I eat something yummy and I want to tell every single person about it. I moan and I groan and I scream and I yell and I jump up for joy when I find a product or a food item that makes my soul happy. And this is no exception. The Boom Chicka Pop. White chocolate and peppermint flavored kettle corn. Oh my god. Like this, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna dig into this bag. This is my um, third bag. Um, this is a holiday flavor, so this kind of recently came out. And the ratio between the chocolate and the peppermint and the saltiness of the corn is like, it's magical. Me and my, me and my oldest, we were eating us like the first time I tried it and like we were like, we have to save some for dad and Audrey. And literally like, I think we left them like maybe a couple corners, but like it was pretty much gone because it was so good. Like we could not stop eating it. It was so good. So, I got this from Jerry's my local grocery store, but I think they probably sell it anywhere where they sell this kind of popcorn. You must. Um, the other lifestyle product I've been loving is my favorite Bath & Body Works candle that they brought back again this holiday season, which is Champagne Toast. You guys, it smells so good, and I like um, wintry candles, but for some reason this one always sticks out to me, and I absolutely love when they bring it back every year, because it has a, it's like a citrus, berry, luxurious smelling candle, and it just, it goes very well with the holiday season, and it goes into like the new year, it's just a great overall candle, and I absolutely love it. And I'm sure Bath & Body Works is going to have some crazy sales over it over the next couple weeks, so you must go check it out. There's another candle I love that I don't have anymore because I burned it out, but it's the Almond Scented Candle, you guys. If you're looking for something like warm and nutty and just like velvety, like that candle smells really good, which you wouldn't think an almond scented candle would smell good because I don't really think almonds have a like... A really good scent but for some reason how they mix that candle together oh, it's 
smells so good. All right, you guys. Well, that is all I have for my November favorites. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. And leave in the comments below. Let me know... Let me know what your favorite holiday treat is. Like, I am looking for some really good recommendations because there's nothing more exciting for me during the holiday season but to indulge in all of the festive holiday treats that some of my favorite products create during the holidays. So please leave in the comments below and let me know what your favorite holiday treats are. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.